What is up guys, it's JD here from Gamazin, and today we're going to be installing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild on PC using an emulator known as Semyo. So first, we're going to need the game and update files to load into the emulator. In order to avoid the video and download getting flagged, link is in the comments and instructions are in a comment left by another user with no relation to me. Definitely not me. For sure. Please don't take my video down. Anyway, so go pause the video, get the comment in the description, and follow those instructions. I'm not kidding, go. Alright, now that you're back, just a quick note. This will only run on high to mid-end gaming machines. The minimum I would recommend using is a 680, 750 Ti, 950, or 1050 Ti with a decent newer i5. Even on the highest end systems, there are going to be slowdowns. After you download the game files, extract them to your desktop with 7-zip, link to that down below. Next, you need to download Semu. The link below is for the latest free version, and for the latest updates and best results, support their Patreon. Once that's been downloaded, extract the Semu folder to your desktop with 7-zip, like we did with the game files. Now, let's apply the day one update we also downloaded. Open each of the folders for the update and the game. In the folder for the update, open the first folder. Open the folder of the same name in the game folder. Press Ctrl A and drag everything over. Do this with all three folders from the update. If you get a message asking you if you want to replace files, be sure to click replace all. Sorry if all that sounded confusing, just slow the video down and do what I do. Now that we've updated the game, we can actually play it. Open up Semu and click load. Then follow the path shown in the video to open the game start file. Voila! We now have Breath of the Wild installed and running. However, it's probably quite laggy. There's not a lot we can do about that, but there are some things we can do to help. But like I said, even the best computers struggle to get constant 30 FPS in most areas. You're just going to have to wait for further semi updates. Be sure to donate to the Patreon to get early access to that. The first thing that we can do to help now is apply a shader cache. This is kind of hard to explain without getting too techy, but just know that doing this eliminates a lot of frame drops and freezes. We don't have a complete shader cache yet, but it's much better than having none. Go ahead and download it. Then, navigate to your semi folder, then shader caches, then transferable and drop it in. Now, relaunch the game the same way as before. Now let's find our controller. You pretty much have to do this for this game especially. Keyboard and mice doesn't really work well with Semu. So click Options, then Input Settings. At the top drop-down, select Wii U Gamepad. Then, click the button next to each option, and press the corresponding button on your controller. Do this for all the buttons on your controller. The final way we can help this game out to run better is with Cheat Engine Speed Hack. I actually made this its own video, which should be linked on screen right now. Alright, with that you should have everything you need for Breath of the Wild running. Expect 15 FPS for now, and with crashes. It will get better with time. Hope you guys enjoyed. JD out. Bye.